Hey everybody, Rob Brown here, your commercial real estate agent with Spread of Real Estate Ventures, agent number 245723. If you've been enjoying the content you've been seeing so far, do me a big favor. I need you to hit the subscription button below and make sure the notification bell is on. Let's go. Business credit is so important for business owners. Look, you've worked hard to build your business. You've got a new initiative. You're doing great things. You're impacting the market. But with business credit, you got to make sure that you protect yourself against any and all liabilities. That's the importance of having business credit so you can separate your business from your personal. With your personal credit, yes, when you first start, business owners and creditors will look at your personal credit, look at your score, look at your utilization, see how you spend your money and make sure you pay your obligations on time. Those factors will lend itself to making sure you have a strong credit rating because at the end of the day, you want to separate the two. And when it comes time to lending money, you don't want to have to be subject to personal guarantees. A lot of times persons will have to sign a personal guarantee when they're borrowing money on the business side. If you have strong business credit, a lot of times lenders will waive that criteria because your business credit profile is so strong. The four topics we're going to talk about today. Number one, understanding business credit. Critical. Number two, understanding the importance of personal credit. Number three, steps to building business credit. And finally, number four, how to leverage business credit in order to purchase commercial real estate. The first step is you have to understand the difference between business and personal credit. It is very necessary that we understand those differences and there is a separation as it relates to you, the commercial real estate owner, when it comes to your business credit and your personal credit. Because again, as we talked about, your business credit will help you build your commercial real estate portfolio. With your business credit, you have an LLC or an entity, and that entity has its own tax ID number, has its own DUN number. Those numbers and that name and the address and the website helps lenders see and know that not only do you have a business, but there's a separation between you, the business owner, and you, the person. Personal credit, you're gonna look at your personal credit score, you know, the three bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. You're gonna take a deep dive on understanding your utilization of your credit. Are you spending less than 25% of your credit lines or more? Are you paying your payments on time? Because those factors impact your scores. If your utilization is too high, you're not paying your bills on time, or if you're not using enough credit, those factors can impact your credit scores negatively. Those issues are not necessarily the case with the business because we're dealing with an entity versus dealing with a person. The importance of a personal credit, I can't say it enough. It is critical in your overall development as a business owner and building your wealth strategy. With your personal credit, again, you have to be mindful of, yes, you have to pay your payments on time. But more importantly, a lot of times I've seen we, including myself, have gotten tripped up with utilization. Believe it or not, credit bureaus, monitor your utilization. You want to keep your utilization around 25% or less. So for example, if your credit line is $1,000, then you have 25% of that is $250. Try to use no more than $250 at any one time during your normal payment cycle. Your payment cycle should be around 28 days. Utilization is very important. Conversely, if you have open credit lines, they're also known as trade lines with your bureaus and you're not utilizing them at all, that doesn't help you with your score. That may sound strange, but it's true. You have to use your credit, but I need you to use it wisely. Here's a little tip. When it comes time to make your payment, because again, you're going to make your payment and pay on time, consider recognizing and identifying when your due date is. Let's say your credit card due date is on the 28th and your minimum payment is $100. Consider this, the 15th of the month, pay $50. And then three days before your due date, pay the remaining $50. What does that do for you? It shows the credit bureau that not only did you pay your bill on time, but you paid it early. Really, the system records two payments being done 
in the month. Strong utilization, but more importantly, or just as importantly, strong payment history. Payment history that's on time leads to a strong credit score. Guys, I really wanna make sure you understand this personal credit and how important it is that you manage it and you monitor it successfully. Again, I'm a commercial real estate agent, but my friend, Grant Stephan, is an expert in commercial real estate. So I want you to check out this link here and learn and listen to Graham teach you and advise you how to manage your personal credit. Next, let's talk about the steps to build your business credit. Step one, you need to set up your business as a legal entity. So that could be an LLC or that could be an INC. Your choice, I always advise that you consult a professional, tax attorney, or your CPA. Step two, let's set up your legal business EIN number from the IRS. Step three, we need to open up our commercial account. I strongly recommend that you look at the local banks in your area, go in, meet the commercial banker, open up an account, consistently make deposits for the first couple of months. Every time you go into the institution, make a point of having a conversation with that commercial banker. Build a relationship, build trust. They see you're consistently making deposits. Because remember, banks are in the deposit business. Also consider open up a credit card through that bank. Now you have two relationships with two accounts at that institution. Also, I want you to be mindful of the fact when it comes to your business credit, your utilization requirements on the personal side are not quite the same on the business side. So with your credit card on your business side, I want you to focus on paying on time and making multiple payments during the course of your billing cycle. Again, that shows a great understanding of business credit and your willingness to pay often will lead to a healthy, credit relationship with your business credit. And finally, make sure you stay on top and you manage your business credit. Because again, you can get business credit reports. So actively look at your business reports when they come into you, check everything out, make sure everything that's on there is applicable to your business and not someone else's. These steps will help you have a successful business credit relationship. Now that we've got your business credit sorted out, you're ready to purchase commercial real estate or lease. I can assist you with both. And yes, leasing, landlords or leasing agents will look at your credit score, believe it or not. Unfortunately, I've had a couple of deals fall through for that very matter. Persons who have experience owning or leasing commercial real estate before. Persons have strong cash reserves, yet their credit score made the leasing company or landlord uncomfortable when it comes to leasing them their property. So it's imperative that we stay on top of our credit score. That's it guys, now you have the steps when it comes to building your business credit. Remember, Rome wasn't building today and this is going to take time and that's okay. I'm here with you to walk you through the process, to coach you through the process. Because again, our end goal is to build our commercial real estate portfolio, whether buying or leasing. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.